Hello, my name is Ruta. And my name is Armandas. We are students from Garjdevi Varshtis Gymnasium and we are participating in the project START. And today we will present the production of bioplastics and its physical and biological properties. The goal of our project is to reveal the technology of environmentally friendly bioplastic production and its physical and biological properties. Task. Using fruit peels and potato peels, we will make bioplastic, check its water absorption, durability and the possibility of using it for growing seedlings. Stage 1. Bioplastic pot production. We peeled and cut peels of oranges, lemons, mandarins, grapefruits and melons. I peeled 100 grams of mandarin peels, 100 grams of orange peels, 100 grams of grapefruit peels, 100 grams of lemon peels and also 100 grams of melon peels. I fermented them for two days. I peeled 100 grams of mandarin peels, 100 grams of orange peels and 40 grams of lemon peels. We added 500 milliliters of water to the mixture and boiled it for 30 minutes. The resulting mixture we grinded and left to dry on a paper for 30 minutes. We peeled the potatoes and grinded 500 grams of their peels. We added 200 milliliters of water to the grinded potato peels and waited for 45 minutes. Then we separated the turbid water and evaporated it. Here you can see photos of potato mixture with water and starch, starch with water, starch after evaporation of water. We mixed the fruit peel mixture with the starch, added 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 5 tablespoons of glycerol and 3 tablespoons of natron. Then mixed everything. The cupcake molds were smeared with oil and pots with 5 mm thick sides from the resulting mass were formed. The pots were left to dry in the warm place for one week. In the same way we made bioplastic sheets. Only the fruit peel mixture was separated into two parts. We added starch to one mixture and shrimp shell flour to the other. It was left to dry for one week. There you can see photos with starch and there you can see photos with shrimp shell flour. Stage 2. Bioplastic pots and sheets physical properties analysis. I cut a 3 by 6 cm strip of a starch sheet and put weights. A strip held 3 kg and broke when it stretched by just 0.1 cm. I cut a 3 by 6 cm strip from the sheet with shrimp shell flour and checked its durability. The strip held 1 kg and broke when it stretched also 0.1 cm. To compare a plastic bag strip with a bioplastic strip, we also checked the durability of the plastic bag strip. A strip held 100 grams and broke. Also, we checked bioplastic pot's durability. The pot held 1 kilogram and broke. We checked bioplastic sheet water absorption. Dry strips weighed 3 grams, but after absorption for 1 hour, they weighed 8 grams. We also checked water absorption with bioplastic pots, which weighed 16 grams. After absorption for one hour, they weighed 25 grams. Stage 3. Bioplastics biological properties. Pot structure. Fruit peels mixture, starch, glycerol, vinegar, natron. To make bioplastic, we used shrimp shell flour and their decoction. And the remaining flour we used for wheat germination study. Wheat seedlings and colleus cuttings with roots were planted in the bioplastic pots. Conclusion number one. Sadly, but plants didn't grow in the bioplastic pots made by us because of unfavorable conditions and they began to wither. Roots no longer received oxygen and water because ethereal oils released from the bioplastic prevented it from penetrating. Our analysis showed that ethereal oils released into water or soil negatively affect flora and fauna. Conclusion number two. We found out that we cannot use bioplastic for growing plants. However, after examining its physical properties, we decided that it would be a better way to use it for making bioplastic boxes and bags. Work summary. 
This research is very important and needs to be continued in order to change the daily consumption of plastic as well as reduce the pollution that is relevant these days. We will continue the research and we will not stop looking for more efficient ways to use waste.